Добро пожаловать на нашу программу Клэбэк с Юлией Рогинский, где мы защищаем твиттера от всех людей, которые нам присылают ужасно-ужасные вещи каждый день. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, the Russian Trump investigation is just letting me feel a little bit more free about, about speaking Russian. Um, I want to show our potential overlords that I can speak their language. Typically, when they um, invade a country or somehow bring it into their sphere of influence, they force the natives to learn Russian. I just wanted to let them know I I've already got that covered. They don't, they don't have to do that, even though they're essentially taking over our government day by day as we speak, most recently with the firing of Jim Comey. I say that also because former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn has found himself the subject of a federal subpoena, and his ties to Russia are being scrutinized by the FBI and Congress as part of a wider investigation into claims the Kremlin worked to tip the election in favor of Donald Trump. Oh, and by the way, they just apparently convened a grand jury to probe into those Russian ties. Um, so, Mr. President, it's on and it's happening no matter what you try to do with firing Jim Comey or any other Twitter outbursts you have. And speaking of the Donald, when he met with the top Russian officials in the Oval Office yesterday, and let's just point out, the day after he fired Jim Comey, he had the Russian ambassador and Sergei Lavrov, the Russian foreign minister, in the Oval Office, in the inner sanctum. He blocked American reporters from witnessing the moment. You know how we know those pictures got out? Because a Russian journalist from the TASS news agency, the official propaganda arm of the Russian government, was there to take pictures and probably also drop some sketchy... Russian spyware into the Oval Office, but that's neither here nor there. It's just a little awkward. So I tweeted about it. Good Lord, it's like second semester senior year when you pretend to even stop caring, except we're not even six months into the first term. And Zach replied to that. You don't, didn't care when Russia invaded the Ukraine. It's actually Ukraine, not the Ukraine. You didn't care when they shot down a civilian airline. It's all partisan bull. Go, girl. Uh, well, actually, Zach, I, I did care. Apparently, you had the TV on mute for the last 10 years because every time the Russians did anything egregious, which happens all the time, whether it's invading Georgia, annexing Crimea, shooting down airplanes, killing um, former spies in Britain, killing freedom fighters and journalists in Moscow. Yeah, I spoke out about it every day and criticized the previous administration for it. This should not be a partisan issue, Zach, and the fact that you're sitting here defending Donald Trump's inexcusable behavior says to me, you care more about the Republican Party than you do about the Republic, and that's sad and pathetic. And then there's Larry, who tweeted, so ignorant, the press is not welcome into every meeting, and the White House photographers took photos as well. You're fishing as usual. No, actually, the photographers that took the photos, as I said, were Russian photographers, um, and the press is not invited into every meeting, unless apparently it's Russian press that follows the Russian foreign minister around, and also the Russian ambassador, who, by the way, as you recall, got a bunch of people in the Trump administration into a lot of trouble when he met with them, including Mike Flynn, including Jeff Sessions, who had to recuse himself from investigations into Russia, although apparently not so much since he was involved in the firing of Jim Comey, and even poor princeling Jared Kushner, who met with him and failed to disclose that also. So the actual issue here is that, again, this is not a partisan issue. We had a hostile foreign power that our intelligence agencies uniformly agreed tried and attempted to influence our elections, and rather than defending the indefensible, which is what our president and his enablers are doing, including some of our friends on Twitter, we should think about the fact that this is bigger than politics. This is bigger than the Republican Party. This is bigger than the midterm elections. This is about the integrity of our democracy. So, for our overlords in Russia, and especially to Balodya from Leningrad, наша демократия сильнее, чем вы, вы не победите. And for everyone else watching, I'm Julia Raginsky with Fox News.